Well, it's a Thursday, and you know every once in a while on Thursdays, we love to do our Home of Economy podcast, and it is time. Actually, we were supposed to do this last week, but um, I was sick. <laughs> uh, thanks to the people at Home of Economy for understanding and uh, putting this off for one more week, but um, here he is back in the studio, Wade Pearson. Hey, man, how are you? Hey, I'm doing pretty good, but I'm, uh, you know, jealous that you're going to go down and see that... that uh eclipse down there in arkansas yeah you know i've i've never seen a real big eclipse like that but do i have to wear glasses or anything like that is it gonna uh, blind me yeah it, it, it's supposed to i really? remember there was a pretty good partial back in uh, when i was in college we were working and and uh, my brother-in-law was teaching us how to weld on the farm oh sure 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 and uh so we're out there welding and go you know it's supposed to be about in this time and you couldn't tell but we got the welding helmets. We look up, and uh, geez, the sun was more than half covered, but yeah. you couldn't even tell. Really? You know, we just, oh, what's supposed to happen? Kind of use that for a filter, then, the the, the yeah. helmet. So. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm. Yeah, well, apparently, be doing, it's... apparently, the last time we had an eclipse like this or whatever down in Arkansas, the state was completely full. It took forever to even try to drive anywhere in Arkansas. So uh, we'll see. And and my aunt and uncle live down there. So oh, it's, so it's going to be awesome. Yeah, we'll be able to stay there. We're right on a golf course. Uh, granted, I don't think I'll be golfing, but um, I'll be watching. It'll yeah. be fun. I, I'm je- I'm real jealous. That sounds great. <laughs> I, I haven't mean, done anything in a while. What an opportunity. So. so we're looking forward to it. Um, boy, I tell you what, the seasons are changing again. Well, fingers yeah. crossed. We're, uh, <laughs> you know, it's funny because um, since walking around the mall this morning here at the Grand Cities Mall, I've had uh, numerous people say, "Oh boy, it looks like we're going to have winter again," and all of that. And 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 I really think. The majority of it's going to miss us the way it's starting to look. But then again, now the frost is starting to open up. At least it is out of my house. All of my lakes have disappeared. Yep. Um, and, and so I'm not so worried about that anymore. But this one thing I always say is, you know, we do need the moisture. But I'd rather not have to shovel moisture. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, who knows? I mean, a couple inches this time of year packs down pretty quick. It sure and, does. You know, I mean, and, and it would be gone. I mean, yeah, it was a little bit cooler this week, but um, I think we're going to be all right. Yeah. Um, you know, when the seasons change, uh, everything changes at Home of Economy, too. Um, I want to go over a couple of events you got going on right now, that, uh, that calendar contest. Now, each month you pick a winner for the 2025 calendar. And um, you did have a winner. Stephen Yu was the winner. But um, how was that going? I know I've submitted a few picks, but I bet you that's got a lot of action, doesn't it? Yeah, and it's kind of fun, and people are into it. I mean, everybody, you know, they see something good, take a picture, and mm-hmm. then it gives, gives them a reason to, uh, you know, kind of participate and share it. And even if uh, it's not one that, that we pick, it's still – Sure. It's, it's going out there to a wider group of people than just your uh, – you know your facebook friends so it's it's pretty cool and and you know the thing is with the the cell phones now and the technology and how they're getting better there are some phenomenal pictures and if you're like me i've taken pictures where people just marvel at them and they're like whoa what kind of filters you i don't even know how to use a filter <laughs> i would have I no idea you know my wife can crop and filter and all of that kind of stuff yeah. not me i just I can, take the picture I and crop. i save it okay it might not be yeah, <laughs> you know, it might not be live, but I mean, I can go back and crop it. Whether it's sometimes it's just taking a screenshot and crop it because I don't know how to right right to, to do the program. But <laughs> and then I'm getting to be you know pretty soon to be yelling at kids to get off my lawn. So. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's funny because my wife says she'll look through my phone and go. Oh my gosh, all you have are pictures of deer and fish. <laughs> well, I said, there's a couple of the grandkids in there and our dogs, but yeah. um, um, we were looking for a picture of all of us uh, for the holidays together, and we don't take any. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's like the only time my wife and I take pictures of each other or with each other is if we're on a vacation somewhere. And then we might get somebody to say, here, take a picture. Um, the deal with March, guess the number. Winner will receive a $50 in-store gift card. What, what does that mean? Uh, we just got a, what is it? Oh, I'm blanking. What is it? Candy or? Um, what are they guessing the number of? It was candy. Oh, okay. 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 Did they already, did you already get a winner? Oh, you did. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, then we'll cross See, that part off. No, this, this is uh, your fault, John. Because I know, because this, this was, was supposed to be last, last week. week. I know. I know. Um, believe me, you would not have wanted to be around me last no. week. I was, uh, I, I, I started, I felt it coming on Monday. 
Uh, by Tuesday, I was junk. Wednesday, junk. Thursday, I came in and did the absolute minimum I had to. I went home, went right back to bed. Friday, we had our open house for our four-year anniversary. I struggled. I stayed around for a while, went back home, went to bed. Uh, kind of been that way ever since. Um, just starting to now... I mean, I'm used to, if I get a cold, it's usually three, four, five days max. And, and now I'm pushing 10 days. So Yeah. Last last year, I had a bad year for getting sick. And this year, you know, knock on wood. Mm. <laughs> so far, so far, so good. So, And, you know, the worst part is, is all the people that come up to you and go, oh, boy, that one's not a good one. I've heard you'll have a cough for three weeks, you know, yeah. or you'll have a cough for three months. It's like, oh, my goodness. I'm glad you're feeling better. I am. Um, I'm feeling much better. Uh, big sale this Saturday. Yeah, we have the uh, you know famous nine-hour sale that we've been doing for well longer than I've been working, and I've been uh, you know I'm be forty years next year. Mm, so wow. A- anyway, but we've been doing that. Uh, it's it's one of the biggest days of the year for the furniture, and uh, one day only. Although you know people have been coming in there and kind of kind of putting their name on it, whatever beforehand. But, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, it's it's a pretty big deal. It's kind of changed over the years. When we first started, we'd get all the all the sales reps from the different factories to come. Well, oh sure, there's so few far between. You know, you just don't get yeah. anybody that can do that. It's just different world there. But uh, you know, uh, we've we got manage. quite a bit of furniture from Home of Economy in our yeah. house right now. Um, good stuff, I, I tell you. Um, you know, when we, again, at the top of the show, we mentioned uh, new season, and, you know, that means let's get rid of the snow blowers, let's bring in the lawnmowers. Uh, boy, those Cub Cadet zero-turn mowers, oh. uh, they are quite, you see them everywhere now. Yeah, and we got, I mean, I just can't believe the number that we got uh, on the floor, but they're, um, they've really taken over the market. And, and for years, we were um, part of Cub Cadet when we had uh, different models mm-hmm. and stuff from, uh, you know, the uh, yard man and yep. the... Uh, and then Husqvarna, and we couldn't sell a, a zero turn mower, you know, for anything. Mm-hmm. The last one out the door. Now these are just, for whatever reason, they're just, that's where the market is right now. You know, when I bought uh, my house out of town with, with six acres, um, I, I don't know why it was in my brain that I had to have a tractor. Mm-hmm. Had to be a tractor mower. Yeah. Not, not one of those zero turn mowers. It took me good 10 years to realize how dumb that was. Yeah. Um, now that I've got a zero turn, um, granted, I, my best buddy back home has got the Cub Cadet. He just loves it. Um, I got a John Deere. <laughs> I mm-hmm. wish I kind of wouldn't have now, but I can't believe how dumb I was to not have a zero turn because it cut my mowing time almost in half. Yeah. You know, I keep planting trees all the time. I'll plant more trees. You don't think about that when you got a tractor <laughs> mower, but when you have a zero turn, it, it, it big deal. It takes right. another five seconds out of your mowing day. Yeah, you I, know, I think for me, it's like, well, I, you got to have the tractor so you can steer with one hand and have that um, that <laughs> adult beverage in your other hand. But uh, see, I'm my kind of growing out of that. Well, I can with my zero turn, I can do, I can keep a fairly straight line with one hand. But the problem is, is with the night crawlers and things I have, it, it's kind of rough. So you can't set your adult beverage in your adult beverage holder because it shakes it flat. Oh. And within about a minute, you're drinking a flat adult beverage, and it's just... drink faster. Well, I know. that's uh, What I do now is I just pull up to my deck, run in quick, run back <laughs> out, and, uh, and then I hop back on again. Um, and also, um, Scott in the mechanic shop there, yep. um, I know when I went to park my mower for the fall last year, all of a sudden it was dead. And I don't know if it was a short between the seat and the key ignition key which would be me or if i was if something was wrong but um so i tarped it up it sat under my trees outside all year but the first thing i'm going to do is bring it to him here real soon but um also folks i'm not kidding you home of economy man if you need your mower up the snuff and and all the new the things done for it for the year to get uh you know oil change blade sharp and all that kind of stuff he's the guy to see because he does a fantastic job and uh they're so reasonably priced too yeah. um and you want to do it as early as possible yeah, you know and check he, just check it if it's going to work and maybe mm-hmm. the battery's dead and put the charger on it and you know because you don't want to wait until all of a sudden the grass is this high yeah because you're going to be then, waiting and then then you can be a month behind yeah yeah um, and, you and know, people can only do so much so. right and and he is fast but come on people that's just it. Everybody wants their stuff done yesterday, and it doesn't always work that way. 
Um, you know, we talk about it all the time too, Wade, um, outdoor stuff, uh, the power equipment. Um, more and more people, you know, uh, going to, to cordless. And years ago, it wasn't the great thing. Cordless tools now, I mean, DeWalt is making some fantastic yeah. stuff. My neighbor could build a city on his DeWalt cordless tools. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the outdoor power equipment, the string trimmer and the mm. blowers, I mean, they're, they're so nice because you just, you already got the batteries, so you mm -hmm. don't have to buy that. You're not going to be, you know, it's not like running, your uh, building a deck or anything where you got to have the saw, you got to have the drill, you got to have the impact driver. I mean, you're only doing one at a time yeah, anyway, so you right. don't need extra batteries mm -hmm. for it. And so you buy that string trimmer, it's always, it works, you yep. know, that it always starts, which, you know not pulling your arm off trying to get it going and uh, yeah and, and you know with my string trimmer i've got a lot of trees and a lot of land um i can pretty much do my entire trimming on one battery yeah uh if i put it on my blower not quite so much they take a little bit more power but um you know another thing uh too that i, I like to get a lot of my stuff at home of economy is uh in our gardens um we're our house is surrounded by flower gardens and we have a big vegetable garden uh and grass seed one yep. thing i used to be when you look at grass seed, you kind of get sticker shock. Uh, grass seed, let's face it, it's not the cheapest stuff, but that's how I was. I was a cheapskate. I'd buy the cheap grass seed, and I'd pay for it. Uh -huh. Before you know it, two years later, I'm still on that same crappy bag of crappy grass seed. You know, get the Rivard stuff. Get the good stuff. Yeah. Home and of Economy's got it. And it's local. And, um, you know, when we made these notes for last week, uh, it wasn't in. It, it came in this week. Okay. So we, we got it in there. Uh you know, we've got the whole 30 feet of grass seed mm -hmm. out there. So uh, really, really looks great. We're in business. We we sell a lot of the big uh, the, the big bags of it. Yep, yep, yep. And, uh, but we also have the smaller ones. And it is, uh, it's, it's the right grass seed for up in this climate. You Absolutely. Know, you're, not, you're not getting it from a big uh, grower down in Nebraska or something. So. Right, right. And, and that makes a huge difference. And, and they're local. The Rivards guys, mm -hmm. they, live, they live in town here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, why not? Why not uh, help them out? So absolutely, great guys. Um, muck boots are huge. They're taking over. I think everybody's starting to wear them. Yeah. I remember when it, you know it used to be sorrels or sorrels, and then it was yeah. this, and then it was now it's muck. Again, when you start to look at muck, um, the name you pay for the name, but now there's some other brands. They're they're very similar. Uh, in fact, I have a pair that aren't muck, but they're very similar. But um, they got the Noble boots now. They're yeah. basically the same thing. Yeah, the Muds is their, yeah. is their brand. And then that one's an exclusive to us. So we're able to kind of offer our own price on it. We're not being dictated, you know, at a high price by mm -hmm. the factory and stuff. So it's uh, it uh, looks like a real good boot. And we haven't had any problems with returns or anything i mean that's and, and you know if you've never tried them and you look at them you might think to yourself those don't even look comfortable but they uh, are i mean I, I love mine before i ever bought them and i was out in um, williston and uh talking to a customer and he said uh it's like wearing your tennis shoes all day yeah yeah uh my neighbor wears lives in them and, and yeah. he says the same thing uh that's a new a nice deal um again i i'm always you know it's like uh spinning a, a dead record here because i'm i'm at home of economy so much but i almost buy all of my pet shoes and toys at home of economy um th again uh when it comes to it's amazing what they want for something for a dog to chew on yeah. <laughs> but it, it doesn't matter dog cat ferret horse sheep goats you guys have pretty much got every kind of animal and pet and treats and toys and food that you could imagine yeah and we've been really working at well all over because last year and with you know just recovery from the covid and the supply chain or whatever well we didn't bring in a lot of new stuff last year so this year we're kind of making up for it mm -hmm. so and pet food is or pet toys are one of the areas we've got uh new looking uh pet toys you know and i'll you know just to kind of tell you a secret you know you're not you're not putting the fancy new pet toy out there to, you know, entice the dog because they're going to love anything. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. it's, it's the dog owner, you know. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's a lobster. Well, the dog doesn't really care, I don't think, you know. You know, you know, it's funny because with my two dogs, my neighbors have two dogs. My other neighbors have I don't know how many. 
it's not like the toy that they want. It's the toy that they are going to make sure the other dog doesn't get. Exactly. And, and isn't that funny how that works? Yeah. We got, <laughs> my wife brought some toys, and we got some five dogs, and we got a new puppy. And uh, she brought one for everybody, and that puppy just had to have the other toys. Oh, yeah, yeah. So the one, the big golden retriever, but she's kind of um, a mom to, sure, you know, sure. to this one. Great So dogs. she gave it up. She gave it up. You know, this is a golden doodle, little cutie. You know, okay, mini. okay. <laughs> and then we have this grumpy old three-legged chihuahua that oh. was a rescue dog. <laughs> and he wouldn't give it up. And pretty soon, Chloe, the puppy, had gone over and grabbed it. And uh, they're about the same size, but Chloe was pulling it backwards. <laughs> and this old, this old uh, chihuahua was just growling and whatever. Didn't know what to do. It was just funny. Oh, it's, dogs are... are, are it's amazing. Uh, I mean, they are like kids. Yeah. It, it, it's, uh, I, I get such a kick. Uh, we were, I was watching my two yesterday. I let them outside and, and I'm thinking, okay, they're, they're about done. I'd been playing catch with them and, and fetch and you throw one, one way and one the other way and just keep going. And well, then they stop and they just stand and stare at each other yeah. and they'll just stare at each other for like five minutes. The one's going to make a move, you know? Mm -hmm. And, oh, it's funny. Um, your handbills, you got the, uh, the pot of gold sale ending, uh, Oh, is that still going on? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that one ended. But okay. we got, you know, that's the thing. We were, Again, because we it was from that. last we're, week. Yeah. And we're trying to turn all our ads over real mm -hmm. quick and, and have something new. You know, we're not doing the uh, big flyers in the newspaper anymore because, you know, I mean, right. there, isn't, there isn't much to read in the paper. I mean. Oh, no, I know. I know. To, not to bash them or anything, but, I mean, the paper came out yesterday and it was... The goal for, you know, colon screening is 80%. I'm like, well, that's the most exciting headline I've ever seen. I, I, and, you know, I know I'm, I, I call it the local part-time newspaper. I don't name it, but um, it's the same thing. Uh, yeah, um, we'll go past that now. <laughs> yeah, so the only flyer we put in the paper anymore is Black Friday. Sure, which sure. It's on Wednesday because that's what's possible. But, yeah, uh, you don't have much choice. That's just traditional. But I mean, there's not even many people that do are, are doing that. No, I know there's not. I know there's not. Uh, you got the big early spring uh, prep sale going on till the 27th. 40% off all clearance clothing, footwear, and socks. $2 off thermos water bottles. Oh, boy. Uh, the strut turkey calls on sale. Uh, the signature tongue mouth turkey calls, you know, spring turkey season's right around the corner. You got $10 off the select turkey decoys. Um, a lot of things going on. It, it, it's funny because turkey hunting wasn't a big thing a few years back around here. Um, I know right now, um, I've got a flock started as three. Yeah. Last fall, there was 10 of them trying to get into my garage, a mom and her nine youngins. And now we had, um, we had a timber wolf come through our yard or a really? couple of weeks ago. Well, the tracks were six inches long by a little over four inches wide. I've I've seen them before. I know. Does your wife have new slippers? Or? <laughs> <laughs> um, so we put a trail cam down there. Well, the turkeys are definitely back. Uh -huh. uh, they're all over. And, and some people think they're so cute. They are for a while. But turkey hunting is getting very popular around here because they're starting to populate around here. Yeah. So, you know, and, you know, if, if they're growing i mean there's no reason not to harvest them I sure mean, you sure know, you're not gonna do it it's exciting to have a new yeah a new sport around so. and and you know what um i i'm try a turkey a wild turkey on the trigger i bet you'd be pretty dang good yeah you know and that's something's been going good and I, you know i just it's not on our notes or anything but mm -hmm. you know we've been bringing in a lot of the uh, the spices and rubs and barbecue sauces and things like that it's just amazing how much new stuff we have in that area and of course we have and and you know 30 some feet of uh oh yeah of rubs and, and yep. spices so you know I've, I've been doing a lot of experimenting with jerky now i just start with the basic i go buy a box of your nesco jerky mix uh -huh. and then i try different rubs and and different things in every one and and the thing is i always let my neighbors and whoever else test run it for me I don't half the time get to eat any of it, but because uh, it's always gone. But they always say, "Oh, this is the best batch yet." <laughs> well, I can never remember how I made it because yeah. I change it up every time. But that's the cool thing about it. It, it, it they're all good. Yeah. You know, people get tired of you know they're cooking something and it was good, but they want to try something a little different, or mm -hmm. they get tired of it. And so you know, that's the thing with these rubs and everything. If you don't, you know, discontinue stuff, bring yeah. the new stuff in, you're just 
your business is going to fall off. And we do a, a great volume in, in that stuff. So uh, right, right. You know, we feel we're a destination in that. In oh, that for sure. Aisle. For sure. Absolutely. Uh, March Bob's bargain sale ending uh, the end of this month. Um, here's something that we go through a lot of uh, the 17, 27 gallon totes, 40 gallon totes. Um, my wife is a huge decorator per season. Everything goes in totes. Everything's labeled. We have a whole room in our basement just for this kind of stuff. And if it wasn't for those totes, I don't know what I would do. But you got two bucks off the 17 gallon, three bucks off the 27, five bucks off the 40 gallon. Um, you got the dog treats again. Um, another thing that is getting huge, and I wish my knees were a little bit better, but um, four player pickleball game. You ever play pickleball? You know, I been thinking about it you know and uh, then you see uh you know my friend from high school she's in a pro league oh or yeah, whatever, yeah you know you've she's been in the newspaper and stuff and was interviewed so it was kind of like a, you know when i was down i spent a couple weeks down in south carolina this year and you uh -huh. see you see they're doing stuff and and uh you know looks kind of fun it does and and i mean i used to like playing tennis back in the day yeah. when i could uh, this seems like it'd be a little more my speed. <laughs> yeah, I played a lot of racquetball in the day. Yeah, so. me too. Yep, yep, yep. That was a good sport. And if so. you can play doubles, pickles, ball, um, I think it would be much easier. There's not a lot of running. Yeah. Uh, not a lot of running involved, which is which is pretty cool. Um, April 4th, uh, April 4th, April 1st, each store going to have a hidden golden Easter egg for somebody to find. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Yeah, it's like Willy Wonka. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, what happens if they find it? There's going to be a prize. Okay, be a prize for it. Awesome. Yeah, for each store. So just trying to do, you know, that's kind of a throwback. Um, my grandmother, you know, and she was cleaning out stuff after the fire and was in the mm -hmm. vault, and she had a silver dollar, and my grandfather was doing that back in the old downtown store and putting away the problem was then you you had people you know you're supposed to buy the product and, yep. and then if you got something problem was then people were going through the packaging oh and trying to mess yep, and ripping yep. stuff up so they had to quit doing that yeah so. wow but anyway it was uh, <laughs> <laughs> it sucked the fun out of everything yeah but anyway so that's it's a long long standing thing but it does remind me that of trying different you know we're always trying to oh yeah i was trying to have something there's to do. always something fun going on at home of economy. Yeah. I've there you that. go. Ah, you've heard that before. Yeah. Uh, again, I'm looking at the March meltdown uh, pamphlet. Um, the 18 volt, 20 volt ACDC uh, wet dry vac DeWalt, 179 bucks. That is something that would be really, really nice to have. Yeah, I've, uh, I've got one of those. It's just nice to be able to, you know, grab it for whatever. And I bought it. I bought it for at the lake because yeah. um, I have a little rowboat. I like to get out and do some exercise. And, and uh, I couldn't get the water to drain out because oh, it's ribbed sure. on the bottom. Yep. And so I bought it for that. Yeah. And then then I'm using it all the time for it's the one I grab all the time. I already had already had a shop vac. Right, right. And but, and see, I've got the big shop vac on wheels and all that kind of stuff yeah. from the last flood we had that September, but. Th when you said boat, that's exactly what I was thinking yeah. about, how this would be so good for me for, for cleaning up my boat every couple of weeks. Yeah. Or, you know, you I've got an old uh, Cadillac that was my grandpa's. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I was having a problem with mice getting in there. So oh, yeah. clean it up. And it's like, yeah, you know, it's so much easier just to be able to grab it and run. And yep. Yep. No clean cords. It up real quick. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No time at all. And it works. Works really good. And this one does have a uh, cord on it. Yep. So that if you, you know, you, if you're doing a bigger job, um, that's fine. The other thing is, is, uh, you know, it's, it's portable and yeah, if you have a big flood problem or mm -hmm. whatever, and you want to use that big one, but then it's 10 gallons and, yeah. and that's and then 80 try pounds. To dump, yeah. Try to dump it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What are you supposed to do with that? And yeah. You know, people dump up put a sump pump in it or something to it, pump see, it out that's what i did i had i put a screen over my sump pump hole and it's got the drain on the bottom so i could wheel it over and actually dump it in there and shoot it right out yeah but other people can't or, right you know right not everybody has that option so if it's just a little bit it's kind of nice i mean i've got my my one at home here i mean it's a five gallon which you know i mean that's that's 40 plenty. pounds yeah that's plenty yeah, and if you have to carry it upstairs, which we did have, a, we did have a problem one time. And if you got to carry it upstairs, that's all you want to do. Yeah, yeah, 40 that's pounds. that's a lot. And I'm not real wimpy. No, um, I'm looking at your uh, half-inch high-torque impact wrench uh, from Milwaukee. 
uh, the cordless one. And this is something I see more and more of in the pits at River City Speedway. Um, you, you see guys, you can tell what's the in tool, uh-huh. you know, and what's the popular tool this year. More and more of the Milwaukee's are, are they're getting brought in and they're sticking around. Yeah. More people are using them, especially those, those big impact wrenches. Uh, man, a lot of race car drivers using them. Yeah. Farmers too. Turn. Oh yeah. It's really taken away. I mean, uh, you still see some air tools and, and whatever go out, but mm-hmm. I mean, it's really going to the, uh, to the uh, there because you don't have to drag a cord around you just grab it you know if you right. got to run outside it, do it or or anything like that obviously the the pits i mean were they using air before or were they yep a lot of them would have a compressor uh in yeah. their trailer which they have to have a generator for then you know to yeah. keep that powered and yeah so yep. this is you know so convenient right um, you know, home of economy, uh, catering to the farmers, uh, and not just farmers. You got the, the job box, 100-gallon uh, fuel transfer tank, 600 bucks. Uh, you got the, the heavy-duty diesel nozzle for $99.99. You've got the uh, transfer pumps, uh, and, and this is a 20-gallon per minute. This is a good 12-volt yeah. pump for 548 bucks. You know, for whatever reason, I mean, I, I talked to the, a lot of the factory guys, and there's there's they get together, and they go, we can't believe the amount of... of uh, this stuff, the, the, you know, the fill right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They said, you, you're so far per store. You know, we're not the biggest chain, but yep. per store, you're doing like, you know, almost double what the next guy is. Really? And I'm like, well, we've had it forever. We put it out. We got it in a good place. And it's a great product. Exactly. And people but, figure that out. Yeah. But for whatever reason, we've been really successful. So. Yeah. Good. Uh, you got the, the low profile creeper. Um, I love these uh, magnetic tool holders. They're great. If you're working on something, you're, you're not putting, you know, you're looking for your stuff all looking for your nine millimeter socket or whatever it is yeah. all the time. Um, and, and, you know, we talked about all of the different, the boots that you guys have got on sale. You got the highs, the mids, uh, you got the steel toe rubber highs. You got the, uh, high cool boots. Uh, you've got them for men and women, um, all part of the March meltdown sale that ends to the end of the goes to the end of this month. Folks, if you haven't tried these new muck style boots, um, you've got to check them out. Home of economy has got such a great selection of these kind of things and not just the rubber boots to go out and play in the mud and the water with either, uh, any kind of footwear, um, it's huge, huge department in your store. Mm-hmm. Uh, before we wrap things up, um, I am looking forward to this. It's yep. You're doing it again this year. Um, we're going to be there. Yeah, okay, as far great. as I know. It's great seeing you. So. Um, it's it's what is it? The eighth, sixth, sixth annual. Okay. Um, Home of Economy Indoor Racer Showcase, free and open to the public. All ages welcome. There's going to be outlaw sprints, non-wing sprints, late models. Uh, A mods, B mods, snowmobiles, all kinds of cool things there. Um, another thing I like too is uh, the food, hot dogs, barbecue, chips, and water. It's a free will offering, so we want you to be a little bit of aggressive there because it's uh, it's a served by the uh, oh the Devil's Lake Firebirds wrestling team. Uh, is that that's, right? That's the uh, Devil's Lake when we got it. The oh, Devil's okay, Lake that's one the Devil's Lake one. Okay, so it'll be Grand so, Fork Central, I'm sure. It yeah, usually is. That's why there was two of them. <laughs> We've dealt with uh, Central and. You know, back prior to the uh, pandemic and everything, and you could, we could find enough people and and have people come in and and do the, do these events. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, you just can't hire people. Right, and, right. And so then we we partnered up with the Central Wrestling Team because somebody had a, our store manager Alan had a connection. His son had been on there. Mm-hmm. You know, it was long graduated, but anyway, you know they do a great job. You know, you can do. You know, we. We want to provide free food. You don't have to pay, but then you got a great, you know, cause there. Sure. And they're ecstatic because, you know, where does, where do they get money to do those extra things? Exactly. So it's such a, it's such a win-win. Right, right. Um, And, and they're, they're great kids. I mean, um, was there last year and uh, they're working there. Oh yeah, they are. And, they are. And the line was incredibly long. That was right by you. Yeah, that's right. Um, they were moving them. Oh yeah. Josh Barker, always a great show. Hey guys, can't wait for the showcase. And I was looking at uh, the Devil's Lake one, but um, uh, Mark Dobmeyer, Jack Croker, Brendan Mullen, Travis Strandell, all Gnosis Sprint car drivers. Uh, Joey Peterson family is going to be there. There'll be 
Well, now big news. Tucker Peterson is now moving up to a late model this year, so that's going to be cool. Josh Barker, uh, Kenny Johnson with the Forks Karting Association. Uh, there's going to be uh, Lake Cameron Ice Racers there. Nick Amdahl is another sprint car driver. Dylan Langeman with his lightning sprint and more. Um, there's also going to be some product giveaways, some samples, reps from beers, Black Dog Barbecue, uh, Cassie M. Spice, Dakota Don's Artesian Waffles, Davis Seasoning, and Far Out Nuts. All there. You know, what's, what's neat about this is the beer's Black Dog uh, Barbecue. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, they're, they're locals. They're, yep. they're out of the Bemidji area. Yep. Great guys. And, um, you know, so if you see that, even if it's not in our place, we sell it, of course. But yeah. if you see it, it's like you're helping a local guy. Sure. The Dakota Don, he's a Grand Forks guy. The Far Out Nuts is. And, you know, these other people, I'm not exactly sure what everybody's people I know, know of personally. So, yeah. Um, it's, it's great to be able to bring them in. The racer showcase is so much fun. You mentioned the ice racer. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're, if you're uh, at all want to see something different, oh, did these you get a chance to check that out last year or were you tied um, up? I, this, well, they only ran once, I think, yeah, this past year. Yeah, but even when it was at the store there. They oh, yeah. Outside. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've, I've actually had that guy on the show here on our okay. racing show, Isn't but I cool? did get to go see him the year before. Yeah, it's really cool. And he's a local guy. Yeah. Uh, Timmy is. He's a great guy. Uh, talk to Central's head coach about being at the Racer Showcase. Garrett and his team love being a part of it and how it helps them out each year. So, uh, yeah, they, they help you scratch their back. They'll scratch your back a little yep. bit. But uh, that, that is a great event. It, it is something we always look forward to. Sixth annual indoor uh, home of economy Racer Showcase. Again, this is free. It's open to the public. All ages welcome. This is a chance for you, and these guys will let you do that. You want to put the kid in the car to take a picture. You want a, a hero card signed. You want your picture with these drivers. They are more than willing to do it. Um, it's going to be a great time. I know Dob Meyer had issues last year because he was hurt. Yeah, uh, was couldn't nice make it, so him. he'll be back. Well, he was he was in there. Yeah, I he mean, stopped but, in. Yep, yep. So that was just nice to be able to. Right, right. With his with his uh, injuries and stuff. Mm -hmm. So. Um, about it. Anything we, we're missing out on here? No, but we do have the uh, first annual the next week there mm -hmm. in Devil's Lake. They're sure. doing the racer okay. showcase, too. So I don't know a lot. That's uh, kind of a new one. but that, That's uh, cool that they're doing that. Yeah. Uh, so, we, well, there would be, I mean, uh, the racer showcase is the best thing we've been doing for, mm -hmm. for years as far as uh, promotion like that. I yep. mean, the, the race fans are so loyal. They, they come, they stay yeah you know they're they're looking around interacting or whatever so hopefully we can do that and uh build that up in devil's lake i think it'll be great uh seth klaus says great place to shop the man's store yeah i agree i love that place all right yeah. i just i do want to say though i mean just if it gets back to him but this uh racer showcase really was i think it was noel shanlack yeah yeah he he really put it all together and he whatever sure and he wanted to do it so um just want to say he really deserved a lot of credit for yeah, this, and we he really appreciate it. Got so. the ball rolling. Uh, I know Alan does a lot of work once in a while. He'll lean on me, and, and but um, he's getting to know pretty much everybody, too. And, yep. and I think um, with the amount of racers and with Devil's Lake Speedway, uh, right outside of Devil's Lake, there are ways I think you're going to have a great time up there, too. Um, man, hate it when all good things must come to an end. Yeah, this but goes they so must. fast. I know it does. We've been... 34 minutes already we've been yeah, going. Yeah, it seems Just like 10. Jab, 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 yeah. huh? <laughs> um, wish you a very happy Easter. Yeah, thank you, Sam. And uh, we'll see you at the Racer Showcase. Yep. All right. There you go, everybody. That, for the month, is your Home of Economy podcast.